bust loss to the Steelers. Tampa Bay center Robert Hainsey said yesterday that it's what he and their unit want. He said, quote, I love that from him. I know we all love that from him, but that's football. That's what you want from great teammates and great leaders, and he's the best there is. Shannon, how big of a problem do you have with Brady yelling at his O-line? I hated it, and Robert Haynes is telling a ball face lie. He's lying. Nobody likes being chewed out, and they damn sure don't like being chewed out publicly. Even as a kid, I didn't like being chewed out. I couldn't wait to get grown, so I didn't have to listen to my, my parents tell me or my grandmother tell me, do this or do that and then getting on me when I didn't do it right or I didn't do it at all. Mm. Nobody likes that. Tom Brady doesn't like that. When Bill O'Brien tried to chew him out, he got up in his face because he didn't like it. When Josh McDaniels tried to chew him he out, really he got, got up in his face because he didn't like it. Mm -hmm. And when Bruce Aaron was calling him out, he, had a, he intervened and said, look, Bruce, I need to talk to you about something, bro. I, I don't know about that one. I need, I need you to talk I to mean, you about something. I mean, I think something. you're you're, no. you're guessing he no. did. No, yeah, all of a sudden it stopped, didn't it? Mm -hmm. And then when it started back again, you're like, I can't believe he's doing this. Stop saying this. First of all, Tom Brady is nobody's mother or father on that field. He's a co-worker. So now you go to your job and your co-worker and your face. Man, do your job. Man, get them pallets up. Pick them boxes. Bro, you running behind. Every time I turn around, you do it. Stop it. Tom Brady in six games has been sacked nine times. The third fewest in the National Football League. They make it seem like he's been sacked like Stafford or make it seem like he's been sacked like Joe Burrow. He has not. Nine sacks. In six games, the third fewest in the National Football League. Mm. I get it. Tom Brady got 15 touchdowns, two interceptions. They 6-0. and I get him yelling and screaming. The man got eight touchdowns in six games. The man is way down in the middle, down, way down, down in QBR. Way down in yards per attempt. He nickel and diamond. You know, it's even he, you know, he ain't no deep sea fisherman. And he never really been a deep sea, except the one year that he had uh, uh, Randy, Randy Moss. But now, all of a sudden, everything is short. Everything is shallow crawls. Everything is jailbreak screen or smoke screen or bubble screen or swing at the Leonard Fournette or hit Leonard Fournette on the check down. Mm. That's all he's doing. Come on. And then, what about this? Hey, bro, you, you had the wedding. Did, did, did Tom Brady forget that he was at a wedding mm. on Friday night? And he missed the walkthrough when there were potential checks that could have been made if they walk up and do this, Tom, we want you to do this. We want you to redirect. Mm. Did that thought ever cross his mind? Mm. Not one time did it. Mm. I don't mind you correcting me. If I'm, not, if I'm on some bull jive and you out there balling lights out and I need to get my play up to yours, hey, John, what, what's up, bro? What am I doing? Mm. But if you out there bull, you on some bull jive too, don't you, don't, don't you step to me because I'm not the one. I'm not trying to hear all that. Mm. And he all, every time, he kicking, he yelling, he throwing tablets, he yelling and screaming. And now he kicking at Jay, Grady Jarrett and got $11,000 fine. Mm -hmm. Nah, nah, Ed, Robert Hazy is telling a lie. There's nobody in the history of man that like being yelled at. And especially a grown, a grown man yelling at another grown man publicly. Remember, Skip, public, cameras, changes, everything. Video mm -hmm. changes, everything. Robert Hazy is lying. You know how I know he's lying? Because I've been a professional athlete, and I did not like being yelled at publicly. Bingo. You got to the heart of my issue with your issue with Tom Brady. I believe that you, Shannon Sharp, Hall of Famer that you are, are projecting yourself on Robert Hainsey, and it does not Skip work. Skip like being yelled at. No. Nope. Oh, you like being yelled at? Okay. No, 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 so tell me. Forget okay. Shannon. Take Shannon out of the equation. I want somebody, I want somebody to tell me. I want to hear a man or woman that says, I love being chastised. I love it. Not a kid. I'm talking about an adult being chastised by another adult. So I asked Skip Bayless. Shannon Sharp is out of the equation. Does Skip Bayless like being chastised? It's a simple yes or a simple no. It depends who's chastising me. It depends if I respect them. It depends if I know they love me and it's coming from a position of love. So can they do it Hainsey's publicly? quote is, that's what you want from great teammates and great leaders, and he's the best there is. He is the best is there is. Is he playing is. great currently? Tom Brady. Yeah, is he playing he's great not, currently? Well, he's not, as you say, stir-fry exactly. <laughs> Yeah. But I'm saying. It's, okay, he's but we had his moments, and by the way, you say he's shallow sea fishing, as you call it. Yeah. 
Uh, remember the deep ball he threw on opening night to this guy named Julio Jones? And, and that was the last I saw Julio Jones. Yeah, I, was, I don't know what happened to him. And that was the last deep ball you saw okay. too, ain't it? And by the way, Tom Brady led the whole league in air distance last year, so he was airing it out last year. Remember the playoff game? Remember how they got back in the deep game? Remember ball. the deep ball to deep Mike ball. Evans? Do you remember that? A deep, a deep out. Okay. All right. You didn't hear that part? Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm going to hear what you're saying. Your Brady hate is overwhelming coming from across the, the table. I have to, like, wade through it. I need, like, a m- gas mask Ernestine on. Ernestine loves you. Okay. She can't, She chastised Skip Bayless in a public forum. I don't know. She just wouldn't. No, 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 no. Okay. Skip Bayless. Well, I don't know. She never has. Uh, but if she did, I know Skip okay. Bayless. And uh, everybody right. else knows Skip Bayless. Come on, Skip. Don't do that. See, that's your problem. You no. think I'm de- – no, I'm okay. telling you because, Skip, here's the thing. I'm peeling back the curtain because of a, I was an ex-professional athlete, mm-hmm. and I tell you the pride that these guys have. Skip, there's only there's only 1,500 men that do what 7 mm-hmm. billion people in the world. Okay, I got it. Okay, quick story. You're asking me for my point of view yeah. on this? Okay, when I was a junior in high school, we had a really good baseball team, and I was a pretty good baseball player. And I was better than the senior catcher. I was a catcher all the way up. But my coach said, look, I got to go with him because he's a senior. I need you to play shortstop. I'd never played shortstop. He said, you're good enough. You'll be fine at shortstop. Well, well, I'm on a senior laden team and I'm playing a position I don't I don't even know. Right. Opening game against Daryl Porter. Look him up. He was the MVP of the World Series. Mm -hmm. Southeast Spartans. Cardinals. Yes. Played for the Cardinals. Played for Kansas City first and was the all star starting catcher. So. We play then an opening game, and I got thrown out at third to make the last out to lose the game at home. And the senior catcher named David Capshaw, I, th- I think he's not with us anymore. That's why I, I lost track of him. But he, he got scholarship offers. He was pretty good. Mm-hmm. He reamed me out in the, whatever we called it, the locker room. I guess we called it, not the clubhouse, the locker room. <laughs> and I knew he did not like me to start with. I knew he was threatened by me, and he did it in front of everybody, and I lost it. And I wanted to fight him in the locker room for chewing me out. He was correct in what he was saying. I tried something I should not have tried, but it came from a position of hate, not love. Mm -hmm. So now back to Tom Brady. I've called him the greatest leader in sports because he goes out of his way to get to know these people. He's not above it all. If behind closed locker room doors, he was an ego, maniacal, you know what, fill in the blank, right. then we'd have a different conversation. But I think they truly like to the point of loving him because he goes out of his way to connect with them, to get to know them and their families. And they know this is coming from a position of love. It's like, I welcome this because Robert Hainsey had never even played center right. until this yeah. year, never but, played but, it in his but, life but, until game number one. But here's the problem that I have. Is that Tom Brady thinks he can yell and scream at everybody. He's that's been not, doing it his whole career. But that's not how okay. you lead. You have to understand what works best for each individual. Somebody you can yell at. Somebody you put your arm around. Hey, bro. Okay. Have hey, you ever I, seen a team rebel on Skip, Tom Brady? See, see? Well, I don't know one. Skip. Skip. Have you ever heard any see, player, this, even veteran players say, I hated the guy? This is what you do. If Tom Brady is wrong, you always say, well, they never rebel. I'm just telling you from a professional athlete that's been in that situation. Okay. You act like I've never played the game. No, or I don't know what the hell I, I'm talking no, I, about. I, I say you've played it at a much higher level than Robert Hainsey will ever imagine playing it. Yeah. L- l- look at his numbers. L- look at what's happening. Brady's having to deal with a rookie left guard and a quasi-rookie center who'd never played center before. Look, look at their numbers. Look at Luke Gedeke. What's happening right now, he's last in his position in, in allowing first pressures, you know, the yeah. initial yeah. pressure. He's allowed 32. That's the most given up at his position in the whole league. And Hainsey has given up the second most among centers. Remember, he's replacing Ryan Jensen, who was the, the heart of the offensive right. line you and Brady's player. favorite, Let's right? Go. Even that's the case. He's only been sacked nine times. Okay. My thing, Skip, well, he gets my, rid of the ball faster than anybody. But what does. I'm saying is, Skip, is that the, the great part about being a leader is to know what works for best each individual player. Like I said, some guys you can yell at. Some guys you got to be funny with. Some guys you got to tell a joke. Hey, man, my mom could have caught that one. Or you put your arm around him. Hey, bro, hey, I know it's tough out there. Hey, that's a very good player you're going up against. But I know you can do it. That's the thing, Skip. You think Brady, yeah, he let go. We're just, you can't, you, you cannot motivate everybody the same okay. way. Do you remember what he was yelling? Do you remember the line he yelled at the offensive line? Yes. You're better than that. It's not like you guys are a bunch of bums or I fill in the blanks with a lot of F-bombs. But you're telling me they're not better than that. You say, look at all the pressure they've given okay. up. So but are they better than he's that? He's saying you guys 
are you can be better. Are I've they, seen you be better. Are they though? Well, obviously they they haven't been. <laughs> and I, what did I tell you on Monday? He posted that picture with those four lines of affirmation, like we're, yes. we're going to be better. Or however, I forget how it went, but he he posted a picture and they cropped it to show Tom being protected by. Robert Hainsey and Luke Gedeke, those two guys right there, I, I just, right? And that's I, I, it. I just think most people, no matter if it's a wife, it's a significant other, it's a husband, if there's something that transpires, let's get behind closed doors. We'll address it at a later date and time. Don't you, don't you do this to me publicly. That, that is the way I believe most people, most people, I'm not going to say all, but I believe most people would want it handled. And but for Robert Hanger to say, I love it. I w no, no, I don't believe that. Okay, I well, do there not is this it. thing called tough love, and it works as long as you know it's coming from a, a place of love. Tough love. So you, you have look, the guy's won seven Super Bowls. So, he knows how to do it. So 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 why would why was you so upset with BA calling Tom Brady to the cut carpet? You don't think BA loved Tom Brady? Well, what has BA ever done in his life? See, to, see, I get uh, If he had four rings, I'd say, okay, see, way to go. See? You got me. But Skip, you can't you can't do it like that because at the end of the day, that's another man. You do realize that Tom Brady is talking to another man as if he's his, like he's Benjamin or like okay. he's V. Okay, it is not. But, but Tom Brady has never, ever in a press conference called out anybody. He would never do that. He would never say, you know what? Robert Hayes, he's got he's to take it up. Skip, a I just saw the man. I, Skip, everybody just saw you. You don't have to call him out. Everybody just saw you yelling and screaming okay, in their did, face. What did Brady say on the Let's Go podcast on Monday night to Jim Gray? He said, I used to be able to, to do it in the shadows because they didn't put cameras on the sideline. He said, I get over emotional and now everything's on camera, everything. Right. So I think that happened a whole lot in New England and we didn't know about it because it wasn't mic'd up. Well, it, well it's, been, it's been going on. We've been knowing about it for at least at least a decade, at the bare minimum of a decade, because we saw him and Bill O'Brien and Bill O'Brien has not been the coordinator for at least a decade. Okay. So, we've so, so it's different when... Remember, Josh McDaniel ran onto the field after Brady had, I, I think he picked the wrong receiver. There yeah. was somebody open, yeah. and, and Josh is, is doing the Aaron Rodgers. He's out on the field saying, didn't you see whoever but it's it was? Coming, but hold on. It's coming from a position of love. He okay. just wanted but, Tom but Brady to showing, make the right read. That's showing see? you up. See? now That's show, what you don't like. But he's showing the lineman up. Okay, he's over there. They're on the bench. He thinks it's out of the way, out of sight, out of mind. And he's th th there are boom mics that are picking it yes. up. Yes! And so, you can hear so, the f So let me ask you a question. When did Tom Brady realize that there are boom mics and there are additional cameras on the sideline? Did that just happen this year? Okay. You see what you're saying. Now, you're saying that anytime somebody does it to Tom, they're showing him up. But when Tom does it, it's coming out of place of love. Mm -hmm. Well, it is. Okay, so, help me out here. What team has ever rebelled and mutinied on Tom Brady? Because if he were a bad guy, if he were that guy, if he had Carson Wentz in him, where behind closed doors he's just a bad guy, right. they would rebel. That They would mutiny. They would go to the media and say, why isn't he living up? But nobody's going to say Skip. that because they, they, they love the guy. Skip, I'm not, Skip, I'm not saying that they don't. But just because you love somebody, you can disagree with the, how, with the, the, the way they go about it. You think just because Tom Brady, you, you have convinced yourself, and you're not the only one, that everything Tom Brady does is correct. I just feel that that's not the case. I don't care if he won 17 Super Bowls. I don't care if he thrown for a million yards. Everything somebody does isn't correct. Okay, he's yelling at two kids who are trying to to fill in for all-stars, for pro bowlers. Because remember, Ali Marpet retired. So yeah. he was he made yeah. the pro bowl last yeah. year. Luke Jensen is a pro bowler. Yeah. So you're having to replace them, right? Yeah. I mean, Ryan Jensen. Ryan Luke Jensen. Jensen. Yeah. And it, 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 it's, gl it's glaring deficiencies. And he's just over there saying, you guys can be better than this. But you're telling I, me they can't. Because you said they've given up the first and second most pressure. Well, so how much, so So can they be better? Okay, well, maybe he thinks I can motivate them to be better. I can scare them into it. Well, motivation only works if the person is good. Okay, well, I, I always bring up the great Jimmy Johnson, who works right here. I've never seen a force of nature like Jimmy Johnson in and around a locker room.